A certain quadratic pattern has the following characteristics. Term one is that, term two is that, term four is that, and term three minus, okay, so this looks messy, right? And we need to find the value of term P, but let me show you what we can do. So we know that term one is P, term two is 18, term four is four times term one. So term four, okay, so we don't know what term three is, but we know that term four would be four P because they said that term four is four times term one and term one is P. Then it says term three minus term two is 10. That what that means is that this difference is 10. So that means that this is 28. So that this difference is 10 because they said term three minus term two is 10. So if you wanted to, if you didn't know what this one is, you could call it an X and then you could say X minus 18 is equal to 10 and then X would be 28. Okay, so we know that that one is 28 now. What we can now do, I think the best thing we could do now is just to um, keep filling in the differences. So we know that this is 18 minus P, this will be 4P minus 28, and then we go down one more level. So this would be 10 minus, in brackets, 18 minus P, and then this difference would be 4P minus 28 minus 10. Okay, so remember it's always this one, the second one, minus the first one, and then it's the third one, minus the second one. It must always be the one on the right, minus the one on the left. Okay, so if we had to just quickly simplify this one a little bit, we could say 10 minus 18 plus P, and then, okay, so I'll just fill that in quickly, 10 minus 18, whoopsie. Now here's the part where students, sometimes they're like, okay, what do we do now? Well, remember, they told us that it's quadratic. So what do we know about a quadratic? We know that the second difference, so that's the first difference, that's the second difference, this one here. We know that that's the same. So we can make these two expressions equal to each other. So we say 10 minus 18 plus P equals to 4P minus 28 minus 10. And now we just solve for P. So that's gonna be minus eight plus P on the left and 4P minus 38 on the right. And then we can just solve for P. So we can take that to that side and then this would become minus eight plus 38 and so 3p is 30, and so therefore, p is 10.